Welcome to The Data Janitor. I'm Mike West, and thanks for joining me. In this video, let's talk about how to get started as your career as a data engineer. The truth is, it's going to depend where you are right now. For example, if you're a database administrator, then the learning curve and the transition to a data engineer is going to be relatively straightforward. It's very similar to what you do now. If you've never worked with data and don't know what SQL stands for, then the learning curve is going to be much steeper. The first thing we should point out is that the data engineer is a tier one role. It's the apex predator of data roles. It's not something you're going to master in a few years. So set some micro goals and get started today. Before I discuss the career, it's a good idea to see some real world companies and what they're looking for. I navigated to several job boards and simply did a search for data engineer. I then wrote down the keywords for each role. Let's discuss what I found. The first one won't surprise you, especially if you've read my post on Quora. Every single listing had SQL on it. So, the most important skill you're going to need as a data engineer is SQL. It's number one. Now, it's important to point out I'm only covering the technical skills here. Most companies realize that they're not hiring car salesmen here. I mentioned it in an earlier video, but I didn't think it was as prevalent as it is. Cloud skills. Almost every single role had cloud skills as a requirement. Almost all of them were AWS and Azure. The third thing was the scripting language. Almost all the roles asked for Python. So, the third thing you'll need to focus on is Python. Now, if you're focused on machine learning, Python for machine learning and Python for data engineering are a little different. For data engineers, you're going to want to focus on scripting rather than the end-to-end -end machine learning pipeline. Next up was knowledge of the CIDC process. This is an acronym for continuous integration and continuous delivery. We won't dive down the rabbit hole on this one right now. For now, just know what CIDCD stands for. Almost all the roles listed to database. So, you're going to need to have solid background in one or more relational databases. For example, SQL Server, MySQL, or Postgres. The last requirement for almost every role is ETL. This stands for Extract, Transform, and Load. As a data engineer, you'll be taking data from one location, extracting that data, cleansing it in some form or fashion, and then loading it into another platform. I mentioned I work with AWS, so I take data from many relational databases in AWS and then clean and load that data into Snowflake. Different organizations are going to use different tools. For example, I use a third-party tool called Fivetran to move data and load our data. Now, there were a ton of other requirements companies listed, based on the tech stack that they are using. However, the core requirements you need to focus on are the ones we just spoke about. Let's take a minute to look at them in graphical form. In the middle, we have the data engineer role. The spokes in the wheel are the core skills all companies are going to be asking for. First up is SQL. The second one was cloud skills. If I were you, I'd focus on one cloud for now. I'd suggest either AWS or Azure. The third requirement was scripting language. I'd highly recommend Python to start with. Next up was a complete understanding of the CICD pipeline. All of the jobs listed had knowledge of one or more relational database systems. And lastly, a complete understanding of ETL. I'll spend some more time on this channel focusing on the foundation and then start digging in deeper into the daily routine. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.